now we'll create, create some accurate geometry. A very good place to start is at the origin because that's the zero, zero, zero point. If you look along the bottom line of the screen, bottom row down here, you can see that almost everything is zero. If I drag out a line, if I go up, you can see it's snapping onto the Y direction. If I go out here, it snaps onto 45. And if I go here, it snaps onto horizontal X. When, when I'm dragging this in and out, you can see DX is changing and L is changing. DX means delta X and L means length. So I'll drag it out to somewhere, let it go. L is still highlighted, that means I can key in data into that box. So if I type in 100, I get a line 100 millimeters long. Let's say I want to make this into a 100 millimeter square now. Easiest way to do it is get the parallel line tool. I'll just pull that out of there and click on the line and hold down the mouse key and drag it to more or less where I want it. You can see down in the bottom left the offset figure there changing. So I go somewhere or other. Now I can type in 100 again and it goes to 100. And if I draw in two more lines you'll see that the length is already 100 so we know it must be right. If I want to draw a circle, same deal. Now I can snap to a point anywhere I like. It snapped onto the midpoint, diameter 100. If I wanted it to be 150, type in 150. There it is. And that's basically it. For anything, you'll get asked for data down the bottom here. And you can type it in. 50, tab to the next one, 25, and so on or with an ellipse, you get asked for a major and minor axis. So it's L1, 100, L2, 50, there's that. Next thing to know is going to be how to move these things to where you want them. Easiest thing to do is just click on them and drag them which is OK, and you can snap them onto another point on something else. But a more accurate and reliable way of doing it is use the Move tool, where you can find points on the part, like the quadrant or the centre. You click where it is and where you want it to go to. So we can do that with any of these things. I can click on the midpoint of that and put it on the midpoint of that. If I want to, I can hold down the shift key, select him as well, and move it to some point on here. 